Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. Actually, it's testing scheduled, so it'll probably be afternoon. Um, anyways, good morning, guys. Um, so today, uh, the other video, the other topic, assignment, whatever you want to call it, that we're covering today is going to be about LEQs. Now, I originally was just going to do a DBQ and LEQ rubric breakdown together in one day, but I thought that was a little too much, plus between all you know test schedule all the stuff you guys got to, i don't want to give you two different prompts two different you know a set of documents all that stuff we're, we, so what we're going to do instead today is we're going to focus on leq so what i want you to do is make it a really good leq response because this along with the one from so if you took the paper exam i have a practice leq from you if you took the virtual exam i do not so you especially who didn't take the exam i want you to make sure or didn't do the paper exam i'm sorry i want you to make sure you do this and treat this like if it was the one from the mock because when we go over leqs you need to know what you got to do okay so i'm going to tell you kind of what we're going to do here i gave you guys a sample prompt and the prompt is evaluate to the extent to or the extent to which ideas about democracy contributed to the civil rights movements from the periods of 1940 to 1970. So basically you're talking about civil rights, right? What extent did ideas about democracy contribute to civil rights movements? How do the ideas about democracy contribute to civil rights movements? Now, when we look at the rubric, you could get up to six points, right? Thesis and claim. Do not let your theses be theses. Make sure you have a solid thesis, right? Respond to the prompt with an argument. Now, I recommend you put this at the beginning, but you can always put it at the end, and we will talk about that in a second. Um, contextualization, broader historical context, talk about the background of the prompt. Make sure it is relevant. Um, I wouldn't go any further back than 10 years, so don't mention things like slavery. Mention maybe how democracy is changing, but um, we'll get more into the breakdown of a good context versus a bad context next week when we start going over these. Evidence, specific examples of evidence relevant to the topic from the prompt of the prompt. So provide a couple of examples. If you're telling me democracy affected civil rights in a positive way, then tell me why. But don't only tell me why, be able to explain why, right? Don't just list examples, then explain why they matter. So you gotta list examples and explain why they matter. Stick to two, three good examples. Um, historical reasoning, comparing causation, um, continuity and change things we'll talk about in a second, as well as complex understanding. So that last one, complex understanding, counter arguments, stuff, it's kind of a unicorn point. Um, we won't worry too much about that. Now, this is the rubric. We've talked about these before. We will talk about them again. But now what I want you to do is I want you to split up. Oop, I left one out. So, okay. First, I want you to find a thesis and a claim for this prompt. So I want you to take your time, look through your notes, think about it, and answer it. Then I want you to set up the contextualization of this prompt. Then I want you to provide the evidence, right? List me a few pieces of evidence. And then the thing that I left out that I'm gonna add in right here with you guys is, put all your responses together. So separate your thesis, context, and your evidence, then put them all together and make an LEQ. All right, guys, we have about a full class period for this. Make sure you use this time wisely. Do not waste your time. Make sure you use it effectively, guys. All right, if you need anything, have any questions, I'm at training today. I won't be on campus, but I will be at my team's page, so let me know if you need anything. Have a good rest of your day, guys. I will see you all on Monday.